Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and we're in a funky little position again. I know. So a few weeks ago I actually did a makeup collection video and in that video I actually realised that a lot of this makeup needs to be decluttered. So we've got a big old pot and a whole desk free so we can shove what makeup goes on there and we're going to be decluttering my makeup. So makeup that I just don't use so you're going to find out what I do use and what I don't use that are in these drawers. My camera doesn't go any higher so I'm bending over. This is a great angle. Before we carry on please do leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into decluttering these makeup because you guys enjoy these type of videos. Don't know why but let's do it because I, I need to get rid of it. So the first drawer we're going in with is my cream bronzer drawer. At the back here is loads of products that do not fit my shade so we're pulling those out. Alright? Oh my god there's blueberries all over the Floor. Blueberries have been picked up back to what I was doing. I'm going to pull these out. So in this little section here and this one are products that don't either match me or I just don't use. So like the Charlotte Tilbury. She's gonna go. Wasn't the greatest product, not gonna lie. Bye bye. Huda Beauty Tantor. I used to love this, but it's definitely way too light for me now. This was really nice, still too pale, um, so I've never really used it. Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Cream Bronzer, but this is in light. The Soul Body Cream Bronzer. Really nice formula though, just needed a darker shade. We're getting rid of this one because it's too light for me, okay? This is Milky Mocha. I'd rather just keep the shades that I'm actually using. She Glam, this is basically finished, so this can go into the empties. And then this is basically brand new. I've used it once um, and didn't like it. It had zero pigment in it. Bye-bye. This Slay Cosmetics Contour Palette, I haven't used that much just because of the tones of the cream contour, so I'm going to leave it at the back. And if by the next declutter I haven't really picked it up, then I'll declutter it there. Now, these drawers. So in this, I have sand in the B perfect bronzer this is too light that's gonna be a massive concept of this declutter because none of these shades work um and then we have this is the shade that i use now which is schwarthy keep this actually matches me so i'm gonna keep that i actually quite like that i think she's too light so we're getting rid I've got the Doll Beauty Gimme Contour in light, as you can tell, I used to love. So we're gonna get rid of her because I've got two shades that actually match me. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer I used to use as a cream contour. I no longer use, so bye-bye. I'm gonna end up with like no makeup left after this, but this is brutal. Like we're getting brutal with this. Um, this, mine's got like weird, like look, it's like half gray, half orange. Don't know what that is. That needs to go in the bin. Elf Putty Bronzer. It matches me. I just don't pick it up, do I? I might keep it for like an elf video, but that's about it, really. Of course course keeping Primark chai boohoo mm, no bye bye this shape stick is really nice um I think she's a little light though I'm not too sure what are we thinking oh on the everyday that actually might be quite nice so I'm gonna keep that I need some products people this this makeup by Mario cream bronzer honestly I spent 36 pounds on and it, it's so difficult to blend it's not as creamy don't know what it is this is just not nice so bye bye so that is what we're left with, cream bronzer eyes. I can't believe how much of that we got rid of. This drawer I know is going to be hectic because I don't really wear peach blush. So I know a lot of this is going to go. First going to go is the Euphoria cream to pink blush just because I don't really use it. This is just simply too light for me now. This is the Planet Revolution cream blush. Ooh, have I used you? Mm, no, but I do want to do a full face of She Glam and I know I'm going to want that involved. What are you? Rude Cosmetics cream blush. I know I'm not using that. Bye bye. I'm more likely going to use the pink shade, so I'll keep that one. I am going to keep my Milk Cosmetics peach, though. Oh, wait, that's too light. What are we thinking? Is that too light for me? That might be a bit too light. Do you know what? Milk Cosmetic, you're going. Bye bye. This is the She Glam, like, cream puff cream to whatever. It's like a weird texture cream highlighter that can go over powder. I used to like it, but I don't reach for this type of formula anymore. I'm going to keep my peach off the cream melt because we need some peaches in here. This I don't really use anymore. It's not much tint to it, so I'm going to keep my Freck Cheeks Lung because I actually really like this. What's going on with this? Full face of she glam, I'll use it. Nick Sweet Cheeks. Let's be honest, this is probably one of my only orange blushes. So I'm just going to put it in the back there with the other orange blushes and just keep those there. Definitely keeping my Rare Beauty and my... These ones are being untucked. Even my Elf Putty blush. I actually prefer this to the bronzer. Boohoo Beauty blush. I don't reach for it. Bye. P. Louise Basic Pretty Pink blush. Do you know I actually used this the other week and I quite liked it. I'm going to keep that. Oh, Rare Beauty. Why is this being switched? No, thank you. Keep those. I'm going to get rid of this just because it's no longer being sold anymore. Even though it's really pretty, I don't reach for it because I don't really want to use products that is no longer being used, like sold anymore. Do you know what? These are going. One has literally exploded. That's my Melon Mood exploded, but I don't use these. I do not like the formula. Bye-bye. 
And that's pretty much what's left of my cream blush. So far, I have two drawers. This is how much makeup we're getting rid of. Now, this is my powder bronzer drawer. This we can be pretty hectic with. There's a lot here that don't match me. So here we are. This is the thing, when you drastically change, like I was really pale and then I got quite tanned. When you have that drastic change, your makeup products feel the hit as well, okay? You need to switch it all up. So Doll Beauty Give Me Sun in light. I don't need this anymore because she's too light for me, but I am keeping the medium. This actually still fits me. This is the XF Revolution demo. Look how much love she is. She's still staying. Dubious Place Medium, yep. Donut from Beauty Bay. This has never been used. I'm gonna get rid of this shade and keep form. I'm more of a matte blush type of girl and this shade matches me. This needs to go, it's way too light. Dubious Place Light Bronzer. Mm. Do you know what? I'm gonna keep this for like everyday bronzer because it might be the perfect tone. Lakira, I don't pick this up, but I think I'll need it for like a cheap video, so I'll keep it for that. Kiko, gotta go because as much as I love you, you do not match me anymore. I need a darker shade, but they're always out of stock. Belgian Waffle, gonna keep. Oh, getting rid of the Milani. I am not a glitter blush and uh, bronzer girl anymore, and I don't think I ever will be. This is the world's patchiest thing I've ever seen. You know. But Too Faced, the only thing I like about this is the taste of it. This is the Physician Formula bronzer. I actually really like this. Keeping. Mitchell, obviously keeping. Mm, I'll keep it for just a video or something. This going, that needs to go in the bin. What's this? Oh, I haven't used this in ages. What colour is this? Oh lord, no, that's too dark. I'm never going to wear that. Fenty Beauty, I actually took this out of one of my drawers to try again to see if this actually matches me or not, but we'll see. I'm going to test it. Never getting rid of my Poundland bronzer, and if the day I get rid of this is to get a new one because I'm that close to the grids, that's why. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Bronzer, no, bye. This, too light. This is all the bronzer we have left. To some people, this is still a lot of bronzer. To me, that is literally nothing. Need to buy some more. <laughs> This is blush. I'm keeping my blush book from Made by Mitchell. Do you know what? Now I've got rid of all those bronzers, I might get the bronze book. Treat myself to like a new 12 shades of bronzer. Do I need it? No, but I will probably go and get it. Bad Girl Archive blush. Using those shades. Trigger Cosmetics blush. Uh, Bellini Baby. Yes, please. Thank you. I actually used this the other day and fell back in love with it. So I'm going to keep that actually. A few weeks ago, I would have got rid of that. That's why you use these products. Think Pink from Made by Mitchell. I've got the blush book, but I'm going to keep this because if I want to take it with me like separately and I don't want to take the whole book with me I can just take this Yasmi Cosmetics blush my perfect shade keeping and it's really beautiful Doll Beauty Glow Getter yes I was always going to keep my Laura Mercier strawberry blush for some time I was never going to get rid of that pretty fly let's get wavy this is actually the original pink blush that made me fall in love with baby pink blush and I've only just realized I'm about to hit pan in that for a cool tone pink blush this KBD is really nice so I don't have a shade like that I'm keeping it Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I'm sorry, but I don't use you unless I'm doing a full face of really expensive makeup. Bye-bye. This side is where it's going to take a hit. I'm actually going to get rid of this just because they're all tones that I don't wear. And I think this would be really good on someone with a deep complexion. I've never used it. Lakira. Am I going to use that? No, it's just swatched. Milani Luminoso. Do you know what? I'm going to keep that for the shits and gigs. Glow Get Out I always keep. This is absolutely stunning. So I'm going to keep it because I've basically nearly run out of this product anyway. Cheek of it and count me in. Fickle. No. Kiko. Do I use this? No, but it's a really nice blush. Do you know what? I'm going to keep that. For Beauty Bay, I'm going to keep Peachy, but get rid of Coral. I actually really like this blush. It's a peach blush from Kiko Milano, so I'm going to keep it. Nick Sweet Cheeks, I like that too. So, And of course, keeping these two palettes. They're an OG, okay? I love them. I'm not keeping these drawers neat because I'm hopefully moving soon, which means this is going to be decluttered anyway. Next drawer. Next is primers. You see, I actually think we're going to get rid of quite a bit here. Let's get rid of the primers we are simply not using. Okay, starting off with the Glowy Pop. I'm not using the XX Revolution. Charlotte Tilbury, yes. Body Collection, bye. Elf, ha Elf Halo Glow, I don't like this. Bye bye. Beauty Bay Glow Filter, 100 times better. <laughs> My favorite, can you tell? This is actually really nice, Estee Lauder. This is way too glittery, bye. This, one of my all time favorites. And I like the Primark one. She's a little bit light though, but I can work with her. This, uh, bye bye, you yeah, know. I used it the other day and still didn't like it, so I'm getting rid of it. I haven't used this. I think I've used this twice, and that is it. And I've had it like a year now. Absolutely love this. Nearly ran out, so that can hopefully be an empty soon. My favourite primer of all time. What other things do we need to get rid of? Benefit Professional. Bye. This is so on the edge, but I still haven't picked up. That's basically empty. Oh, that can go into an empty video. Do you know what? I've been using it here and there. Um, I haven't used it as a proper primer, but underneath the eyes is working. So I can give it a few more tries, and if I still don't like it for the next declutter, it's going. 
that just needs to go in the bin by now. These are really nice moisturizers. I actually really like them. I don't know why Primark discontinued them. This doesn't sit well on my skin, so bye bye. Dan, I'm gonna keep both there. And I always keep one of these primers each because I actually quite like these, especially for affordable. They're four pounds each and they're really good. So keeping them. This is the update. The pot is nearly full. Like next is foundations, and there's a lot of foundations at the back that don't fit me, so we're just gonna pull them out. So all these shades down the back do not fit me, so I'm just gonna pull them out. The body collection. What else is down here? Oh, my be perfect chrome cover, but this is basically empty anyway. Yeah, that's an empty. Charlotte Tilbury, too light. Too Faced Born This Way. Color State. This used to be my all-time favorite foundation years ago. Loved it. Both of my NARS foundations are way too light now. This Estee Lauder. Do you know what? I didn't even like it. Not Estee Lauder. Matt. Didn't actually like that foundation. This is a really good foundation, but Upset Flower Beauty have gone down um, because I would like to have got a darker shade than that. This is a foundation that I just keep for memories and to think that this was brought nearly five years ago and it's still not separated. Rimmel, I don't know what you've put in there, but yeah, um, I don't use it anymore, but it's just a memory thing. That's obviously definitely not my skin tone, honey. Um, that's Casper Friendly White. Yeah, no, not to the primer. Skin Finite She Glam. I don't know about this shade, you know? Yeah, no, I can't work with that. I'll just get a different shade of that because these are still available available and they're super cheap. Uh, it's actually quite a nice foundation, so if you can get your hands on it, get it, because it's quite nice. And then another super stay. All the other ones pretty much match, except these two are going, because I hate this foundation. Now all the shades that actually fit me are at the front, which means I actually don't have that many left, but at least they all fit me, and I know what I've got. Concealer powder. I know there's quite a few concealers and stuff that I need to get rid of from here, so we're gonna do the damage. If you haven't tried a Unicorn Cosmetics Peach Slice, you actually need to. It's illegal if you haven't. Huda. I've got one in granola and one in graham cracker. I'm probably going to use both, so I'll use that. Never getting rid of my Juvia's. Um, This is actually quite a nice concealer. I haven't used it in a while, though. I used it the other day and quite liked it, so I'm going to keep it. My NYX, I don't really use unless I'm doing like a very light glam, but because I am in that light glam phase, I'm going to keep it. Multitasker Rimmel. This is super dry on my skin, so I'm going to get rid of it. I don't like this Estee Wart. Estee Lauder concealer. It's really drying, really drying. One of the most drying concealers I've ever, ever put on my skin. This is actually a really nice concealer from Revolution, so I'm gonna keep that. I don't use this Liqueur Real One. I think it's just that awkward tone that I just don't use. And Fenty, I actually use all the time. Now onto my under eye concealers. Collection Lasting Perfection Pot Concealer. I actually used to use this all the time, but I do prefer my pink honey one, so bye bye collection. I like this Huda one, I just haven't used it in ages, and I wanna use it, so yeah. Huda Beauty, yeah. Liqueur I'm not technically using it for my under eyes, but I'm gonna keep it for like a cheap video. Do you know what? This concealer, I don't use it that much. Bye bye KVD. Maybelline. I'll keep it for like a drugstore video. Of course, keeping my ABH, my Excess Revolution, my H&B, and my Fine. Colourpop, come on, let's be honest. When was the last time you saw me use that? Jouer concealer, really nice concealer. Keep another shade of that Liqueur one. This is actually even lighter, so I'm gonna get rid of the light shade because I don't need that. Keeping Lancome because I've spent 26 pounds on that and I'm gonna use it for like my everyday makeup. Yes to the beauty crop, really love that. Bye bye Revolution. Be Huda Beauty, I swear I've already put one of them in here. There's cotton candy and marshmallow. Marshmallow is probably too light for me now, so marshmallow, bye. This Flower Beauty Concealer, once again, they're out of use and stuff. You can't really buy it anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Powders. To be honest, I need a declutter of these powders. One powder I'm decluttering is the Vitamin Babe Translucent. It does not hit the same as the Fair. The Fair is a thousand times better. Okay, keep, keep, keep. What are you? I'm getting rid of the Back Girl Archive. It's just too pale for me, and it actually does have a cast. Um, Nick, I don't really use it, do I? No. Beauty Crop Pore Filter. I need. To give it a few more tries before getting rid of it but at the moment she's okay number seven i used to love this but i think it is time to depart this does nothing why is it still in my drawers powder foundation from primark honestly might as well say invisible the makeup revolution opalescent i don't use bye bye so far we've got grid of quite a bit actually and i'm quite happy with that so any of these i'm not using do you know what it's time to go fenty okay I've had you too long now and I still don't like it. It's just a little bit too dry, so if you've got oily skin, great, but if you're dry to combo, no. The pot is officially full, so I'm gonna need another one. We have officially upgraded to a washing basket, because that's the only thing I can bloody find. <laughs> to think that I've halfway filled a washing basket, that's an issue, look at that. But this is what happens, okay? It's what happens. Don't feel bad, just think that you're throwing out the old to put some space for the new. But this is my creative drawer. I pulled out all the big bits that I do actually use. I'm just currently pulling out my P. Louise. I'm only keeping these paints though. I'm not keeping these paints. 
because these I can use for like Halloween and stuff, but the other shades I can use with my Made by Mitchell color cases and I much prefer the formula. I don't actually like the P. Louise base. I'm sorry, I don't. It just doesn't work for me, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of those. Don't use this. Be perfect, perfect prime. This glitter, don't use. This glitter, don't use. I used all my pressed glitters now. I don't really use anything else, but that's gonna go. That's gonna go chunky glitter, but I'm gonna keep it for like festivals. These collections, honestly, don't use them anymore. So my Silver Beauty pants, I'm gonna get rid of because these crack really bad and I don't use them and I prefer my Bay Beauty ones 100%. I'm gonna get rid of these Chroma glitters. Oh, that's pretty. That's a She Glam paint. Look at that. Keeping that one, that's wink. <laughs> I've got my tiny freck. Imagine this is a full size freck. That's sin. And then all that's left is basically a few little pigments and some actual eyeliner paints. And that's really it. But that's all I need. I don't need all of the other stuff. And I'm gonna put all my glitters at the back. Lashes. <sighs> I'd love to declutter this, but I do not have the fucking energy for that. Sorry, that's not happening. Next draw is brows and mascara. I don't think there's any mascaras really at the back here that I need to get rid of, so I'm not going to. Brow stuff, what are we thinking? Yeah, for brows, there's not really much anything I can get rid of either. I think because these are very strict areas where I keep to my comfort zone, there's not much shit in there. Lipsticks though, things need to get. This is new though, how cute. This is the P. Louise new lipstick pal palette. I tried out all the colors today. But yeah, how useful is that? Okay, first start off with this little section here is lip glosses Lacura, no fusion no this w71 can go abh lipstick no keeping in maybelline lift a gloss charlotte tilbury and these Bay beauty ones are really stunning oh i like the elf one these two are really pretty they're makeup model. And i'm keeping all my beat faces so a lot of my lip glosses i'm keeping but i haven't actually got too many i love my cash beauty one just haven't used it as much as i should morphe by but i'll keep the morphe red because i only have one red gloss i then have a beauty big gloss stunning now here's some other glosses i'm keeping all my new crc ones Too Faced lip injection well, let's put ourselves in pain this clear one does it look like i've ever used it no Bye. But bye bye. I haven't used it next year. Love my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk gloss. This one is phenomenal. This is a really good cheap one, so I'm gonna keep that. Revolution, but this lip oil I don't use. Pour pour by. These were the rave, okay? But I think I've used this maybe like twice, so bye. Keeping all my Made by Mitchells and back gloss. We've gone from two sides of glosses to one. Now we're on to lipsticks, which is right back. Actually, let's go for lip gloss. All the ones that I'm throwing back there, I'm getting uh, keeping. All the ones that I'm putting up here, I'm getting rid of. I only got rid of four, but these ones just don't fit my lip shade, so okay, that's better. Now I'm gonna put my lipsticks in there. This needs to get. Bye bye. Don't throw lipstick. The lids flow. Bye bye, so but I don't use it. No. What are you? Mm. Oh, this Fenty one, stunning. Like that Primark one. I used to be addicted to these Makeup Revolution Pro Matte Cream things. Absolutely love them. Okay. Beauty Bay, I'm always keeping. What shades have I even got now? Tea, Sunset, and Sauce. Ooh, mini Laura Mercier. Kills me every time. And then this Kiko is really nice. So, there's all my lipsticks. There's actually not that many. Highlighting. This is my highlighter drawer. You see, most of these powder highlighters just need to go. So I'm just gonna do the dirty and just yank them out um, and say bye-bye. Too dark, come on. This is the lightest shade, it's never been touched. Get V by um, Ofra's, I actually do use. Skin Lights, I do use. Beauty Bay, don't break again. Full Face Beauty Bay, I'll keep a uh, beam, but Flash is just broken in the bin. This is an Amazon highlighter, it's just too chunky. This Chromosome one by Wet n Wild by Champagne Pappy from Milani, but I don't use any of these. I don't know why I still got them. They're just wasting space, to be honest, aren't they? I'd rather just get things I'm actually going to use. Keeping benefit of the key. I think we're pretty much all done, although I'm saying bye to these things. And that. Cash Beauty. Okay, I think we're all good. There's all my faves. Now it's eyeshadow palettes. You see, this is where we can get absolutely ruined. Hello. I'm currently sat on the floor and that wash basket is heavily full. Now, eyeshadow palettes, I'm literally going to stick all the ones that I do want and don't want in front of me. Keep, 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 and keep keeping both of these P. Louise. Bye bye, Lacura. Going solo, P. Louise, keep. New Romantic Beauty Bay. I think I need to start getting rid of some of my Beauty Bay palettes. This is kind of getting ridiculous now. Um, and I think one of the, this is corporate one. So, bye bye, Beauty Bay. I love you, but I ain't got the space to keep holding on to it. This Cash Beauty palette, lovely, and it needs a good high McKay. It's stunning but I just don't pick it up and that's my fault so bye bye Anastasia Sultry I love this palette I just don't pick it up that much but I'm gonna keep it as like a little men Beauty Bay Matte uh, of course look at that keep 
doing it. This Charlotte Tilbury palette. I cannot tell you why this is so expensive. It's nice, it's not worth the coin. But I'm gonna keep it just in case. Oh, this Charlotte Tilbury palette though, stunning. This one, yeah. I, I, that is that is gorgeous. Bye bye She Glam. I just don't use you. Sorry. Beauty Bay. Um, this one. Yes, please. Uh, this ColourPop one. Do you know what? I've used it once, and that was for the ColourPop video. And um, never again. Elf Mini one. No one's using these. Let's be honest. I'd rather just take an entire palette because there isn't a mid shade, and that annoys me. Let's throw them back in. I need to be brutal with this drawer because there's so many palettes that look so similar, but they need to go. Rude Cosmetics Roaring Palette. It's crying at me. Look, this is stunning. Like, actually beautiful. There's some shades in here that I just don't own, so I'm gonna keep it because of that. Book of Magic. What an iconic. When this thing drops, people screams. And I'm gonna keep it for that. Love Notes. Mmm. I like the purples in this, but should I keep it, keep it for just the purple? Do you know what? I'm going to leave that in a main part. Retro Love. This is actually their newest one, and as much as I love it, I've been loving purple recently, and that is pretty. Becca, stop trying to get rid of all your favourite palettes. You're keeping them. I'm keeping my beauty base. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't let go of them. Wilderness. Beautiful. Sensational. But I tell you now, I don't use it. I use the big palette. Um, version of this so I'm actually gonna get rid of that one my ABH palettes keeping uh, they can stay there because if I move them that's gonna cause havoc this palette from Harley Quinn bye bye you know what I love June this is a really good palette I just don't use it anymore as much as I love your content and I love this palette I don't use it you need someone that's gonna use it blooming lovely palette <laughs> she looks a mess but I've only used her maybe like twice bye bye dream big be perfect do you know what this palette needs a rejiggle because all the shades like this make no sense in my brain no sense uh, Nikki Tutorials of course you're staying <laughs> Look at that! Made by Mitchell. I'm sorry, and I love this palette. I just don't use it. I think that's going to go to someone that is actually going to use it. Fiery Beauty Bay, yes. Earthy Beauty Bay, yes. Jade Beauty Bay, yes. Bright Matte Beauty Bay, yes. Keeping those. Now we can put some of these back. Okay, this palette, as much as it's lovely, um, I don't use it. I love that holographic shade, but I just like this palette is stunning. But I've got a full face of sheet glam coming up. I'll keep it for that, okay? These, I don't use these Beauty Bay um, six pan matte shade palette because they don't make any sense. They don't, sorry. Um, Pastels Utopia. Keeping pastels because she's an iconic and much needed palette. Uh, Utopia, mm, I've got those shades and elsewhere. I'm keeping these three she glams, I think. Am I keeping all of them? Oh, let me get rid of the orange. I know the orange isn't my favourite. Oh, this is pretty. This is the mini Midnight's. <laughs> That's stunning. This little mini purple palette, it has like a little space in my heart where I absolutely love this because it's so freaking cute. <laughs> It is. It's stunning. So I'm going to keep it because it's cute. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all my eyeshadow palettes. So we got rid of quite a few actually. I think we got rid of 10. We got rid of 14 eyeshadow palettes. Ain't this a great angle. And that, my darling, is a full washing machine of makeup I don't use. Look at all that makeup. So there's quite a bit of it that I can actually just sell for like stupid cheap and just get rid of it. Um, I can put that money in towards creating more content with different products and stuff like that and trying out new bits. Quite a bit of it that I'll probably give to friends and family. That is it and that is me decluttering my makeup. I hope you enjoyed um, and if you haven't leave a like, comment and subscribe already. Don't know what you're doing but join the family. See you later. Bye bye.